a disastrous round for Kickstart Kenny. Hey everybody, Walty Wanders, buckle up, strap in, I got a hard hitting, pull no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. It's going to give it to you and give it to you straight, we got a good one to unpackage today. Welcome in to the studio, welcome in to the Hurt Locker, my goodness, Kenny boy had a disastrous Oakland 11th place. And listen, friends, he was right in there in the top five. He dropped anchor in a big way. I haven't seen anything out like this out of Kickstart since last year when he was on the HRC factory Honda. Oh, Honda, man, you're in a bunch of trouble too. Whew. This is it. This is my opinion, my friends. And again, we have a, we ran a poll on the page. We're going to reveal it. This is the thing, my friends. If we're being forward thinking, a critical thinking, reading between the lines and looking between the cracks, getting the old crystal ball out. What? <laughs> it, it happens sometimes. Riders will walk away from deals. And listen, man, if there was ever a deal that, could, that I'd walk away from, it was probably this one. But it was a money grab, right? It was a pure money grab. If we're, if we're taking an educated guess, we held out, took the deal late because we we're waiting for them to sack up and pay our price tag. Now we've done that and you were awarded an 11th place and your teammates aren't really doing anything else either. They're not barely making mains and their lappers every night. So this is bad. This is bad. So we asked, <laughs> we asked on the page of the channel, Walty Wanders MX community page. We do a lot of polling over there. We polled. Would you be surprised if Kenny pulls out of the series this year? Well, we're going to reveal the results of that, that poll here momentarily. But before we do, I got a little commentary I would like to set this up with. And I'm pretty sure you know which... Button I clicked on that poll. Realities are this, friends. This is bad. This is super bad. An 11th place. When you wrote the check to get Kenny, when you saw what he did in the offseason, where he was a title threat. That's what the way he was, I'm sure, his team spun this. That's why we're waiting for you guys to get all this money over here to us. Once it's transferred into our escrow account, we'll sign that contract. 11th place, dude. He's on the ver. If he does another 11th place, multiple of 11th place, if he cannot get back to where he was at the opening round, sniffing the podium, I wouldn't be surprised if something happens. Either they part ways with him, he parts ways with that. He parts ways, he walks, he throws in the towel, he starts sandbagging and just out there riding laps because he. His, his, his clause requires him, like if he bails out, he's not going to get the full amount that was offered. Who knows? But the truth is usually somewhere in the middle, my friends. Whew, insane, right? Insanity. I told you, it's going to be a historical season. History is already starting to play out. A lot of things. A lot of things to heat map and temperature check this year, for sure. For sure, the Danger Boy saga, the Jets and Donut saga, the Kickstart Kenny saga, some sagas, right? There's some sagas. There's just no way. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This is bad. This is bad for Kenny. This is bad for Suzuki. This is making my point initially before the season started. Should have stayed on this off-season bike. He tested it. He'd ridden it. it had, he had won on it. If you're really investing in yourself, you would have skipped that contract money and came to the plate with the bike that you felt would give you the best opportunity to win. We know it couldn't have been Suzuki. And any sugarcoating you heard from him saying he liked the bike, he liked the price he got paid to ride the bike more than he liked the bike. I can guarantee you that was a high level of probability. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the poll that asks, Do you, would you be surprised if Kickstart Kenny packs it in this year early? Let's go ahead and run that poll, then we'll meet back here and wrap it up. Let's get started. 
All right, buckle up and strap in when asked on the Walty Wanders MX community page. Would you be surprised if Kenny pulls out of the series? 64% of you said, yup, I'd be surprised. 34% of you said, nope, wouldn't surprise me at all. 2% of you said, he's going to do it. Let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. All right, friends, welcome back. So uh, there you go. A third of you are like, I wouldn't be surprised, bro. Like, that's not looking good, dude. 11th place, almost a lapper, dropped anchor. Just even the heat weight race, he erased his heat race win. And even when he was on the podium being interviewed after his heat race win, you would think it'd be like, yeah, that's what's up. That's how I'm doing it right now. I love this. He did it. Yeah, you know, we're playing a suspension. I don't know. I can't even remember what he said. It was just like, he didn't look right to me, right? So when a third of you are saying, um, yeah, dude, like I wouldn't even be surprised. Like, that's not good. A couple of you are like, dude, he will. This is like guaranteed, dude. This is like over. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. But the realities are, it comes down to the percentage of likelihood. Now, at the time of the poll, which was less than an hour old, 60% of the people participated. So now, I'd be surprised if that happened, dude. I'd be surprised. I think you're just stirring the pot. Well, it comes down to the percentage of likelihood. And I, I trust the polling. I really trust the polling. Where a third of you said, wouldn't surprise me in two-thirds of years. Like, yeah, it'd surprise me if that happened, dude. I think it's a pretty reasonable, you know, percentage of likelihood. There's a, probably a high percentage of likelihood he'll get through the season short of an injury. He won't just fold it up. But I think we got to factor in all those. Injury, problem with the team, something happens. Something just happens injury or at the truck or behind closed doors or those two sides because they're two different camps right i mean they're so separate even the riders the other riders on the team they're rocking different graphics right and it's it's not looking good for me personally now we got another round coming up here in texas this is it in my opinion if we start to see this is what we we're going to get out of kenny I mean, he's got to light it up. He's to salvage this relationship after that performance. He's got to light it up this weekend. He's got to be at least back to where he was at the first round, sniffing the podium. That's my opinion. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a moto guy. Somebody wants to see you not only win on the track, off the track, understanding the waters we're swimming in now. Shark infested. A historical season is now playing out right in front of our face and one of the biggest stories is kickstart kenny he made his bed now he has to lie in it i mean that's just the reality he won the off season he won the silly season he he melted the internet he did a lot of things but it all came down to taking this ride with suzuki and they promised suzuki a lot i can guarantee it that's why it took so long in my opinion to get this deal done they were waiting for the money to transfer and then they started the realities are we both know, or we all know, if he is really looking for results, that wouldn't have been his bike. So that tells us again, this was probably a money grab. Let's see if Kenny Boy can pull this off. We'll continue to cheer for him. I believe he deserves that. But we certainly shouldn't sugarcoat it. We should call it like we see it. I, don't, I, think, we've, I think we deserve at least that. He's not doing it. That's what I'm here. I'm going to continue to do it every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you're going to really love the next video coming in your screen. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars today. We'll see you on the next video.